All right, hey everyone, my name is Thomas here at Real Fly Rod. Uh, today we're gonna be taking a look at all of the floatants available from Loon Outdoors. So these can be divided into four classifications, the gel, liquid, paste, and powder. So let's take a closer look and I can explain what each one does. First uh, classification that we're looking at is the gels. Loon has three available in the Aqua, the Royal Gel, and the Loxa. Uh, the Aquel is one of our best sellers because it's super easy to use, just like all these. The, the application is the exact same. So you just open it, put a little dab onto your hackle or your feathers or anything, and you'll just rub it in. Super easy. Uh, the difference between these is that the Royal Gel has a slight shimmer to it, so it's really good for putting on like insect wings because it adds like a, a natural look to the, your fly. And the third one here is the Loxa. It's really the exact same application, so you'll just put a little dot on, uh, work it around on your fly, and then, but the difference is that uh, it won't mat the feathers, and it's really good on stuff like CDC. And the best part about these uh, gel applications that the, is that it doesn't leave any kind of shimmer or oil slick on the top of the water. All right, the second group of floatants that we're going to be looking at is the liquid variety. So right here we have the fly dip and the fly spritz. Um, these are, you know, you'll use liquids for reviving flies, or they're also really good for pre-treating. But the thing, or how you want to use them is, like, you'll open it up, you can dip your fly in, uh, give it a couple dunks, and after that you'll need to let it dry for, like, a minute, or just give it a few false casts. Your fly will turn like a little bit white when it's uh, ready to be thrown again and it's dried. So, uh, but the one con that you have with this is that it does have the uh, tendency to leave a slight oil slick on the top of the water when you first throw it back in. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> All right, here I have the third variety, which is the Payette Paste. And this one's really easy to use. You'll just grab a little dab, put it between your uh, fingers, work it around on your fly. But it's also really good in a pinch when your uh, leader is starting to sink a little bit. You can work your leader in between your fingers as well to uh, for like a little bit of a short-term uh, solution. All right, we're going to head right into the fourth variety of floatant. The first one I have here is Top Ride. And this one's super easy to use. You just put your fly in. But this one consists of two parts. One, a drying agent, and a second, a floatant powder. All right, the second one here is Easy Dry. Uh, this one's best for reviving sopping wet flies because it's a drying agent. And it has these blue crystals inside that will turn pink when you need to replace your the entire bottle. And the third here we have is Loon Dust. This one comes with an applicator brush that you can just, you know, touch up your flies. And this one, uh, the uh, Loon Dust also has like a slight shimmer to it. So in the same way that the Royal Gel added a slight shimmer to your flies to imitate like more natural wings, this one has that feature as well. And the last one here is Blue Ribbon. This one you just dip your flies in. It doesn't have any residue, but it works best for um, CDC and very soft hackle. In conclusion, there are four different kinds of floatant that Loon Outdoors has available. Gel, liquid, paste, and powder. And each obviously has their own pros and cons, so do your research before you hit the water and determine which floatant is best for you. We always have a great stock of Loon here at the shop, so go ahead and shop around. And you can always reach out to our pro staff if you have any questions or concerns about which one you should be using. Remember to subscribe to the channel and we'll give you new tips, tricks, and gear reviews every single week. Thank you.